In Gainesville, three seats in city council are up for grabs. A man detectives say called 911 after killing a woman in West Palm Beach was arrested over the weekend. GPD arrested the men involved in the sexting scandal at this gas station. Students in an endo are dedicated to promote the awareness of endometriosis. You could donate to their research to find treatments at endouf.org. Starting the 16th, they will be having music therapy sessions and guitar lessons. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis arrived in Iraq unannounced today. As gas prices go down, car owners are taking advantage of this decline before gas prices start to increase in the spring. If the Florida Senate passes this legislation, in courtrooms like this one, 10 jurors would have to come to an agreement to impose the death penalty. In an interview Sunday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the missile strikes on Syria carried a message for any country seen as operating outside international norms. North Korea has long claimed the U.S. is preparing an assault against the country and justifies its nuclear weapons as defensive. Whenever we have uh, offenders that seek out people like this, uh, it turns your stomach. It would turn anyone's stomach. Fifteen Florida men, including three U.S. students, were arrested during the sting called Operation Resilient. During the five-day operation, agents posed as either a 13-year-old or a 14-year-old boy or girl, or as guardians of the children and met with the men on an unknown social networking site. GPD arrested the men involved in the sexting scandal at this gas station. The men drove to this gas station for a meeting. One of the men was a registered sex offender on federal probation. Of the three U.S. students, 27-year-old master student Siddhartha Jain, 22-year-old master student Hong Yang Huang, and 22-year-old computer science junior Quentin Marcus Reddick were arrested. The three student suspects have trespass warnings against them on campus. This should be a strong reminder to parents that you need to know what your child is doing online. The dangers on the internet are very real. All of the men were arrested on charges of soliciting a child to commit a sexual act, unlawful use of a phone, and traveling to meet a minor for unlawful sexual contact. Just be involved with your children, have an open relationship, ask them what something is, and uh, you know, just know, you know what to look for in deception of your own child. Valera Thomas, TV20 News. It's just my favorite app on my phone and I really like it. <laughs> a period tracker app called Clue can relieve a woman's responsibility to track her menstrual cycle. Brittany Simpson uses the app to estimate her monthly cycles. It allows me to be a lot more organized. Um, all girls know that you want to know when the period's going to come for vacations or, you know, that time to the beach or a camping trip. Um, so the predictability of the app is really cool. The Clue app has options for tracking temperature, bloating, and headaches. The app can also alert women if they are pregnant or not. I know that I'm getting my period the next day and I'm a lot more prepared and that's nice. And also, as far as like if I'm in like a, a relationship where I'm having like reproductive sex, it's nice if I'm like scared of being pregnant or something like that. Enter your typical cycle you might experience and the app uses the information to predict your time of the month for you. So another really great thing about the app is it has like a history tab where you can see all your previous you know, cycles that you've had. The app can allow a woman to export data into a PDF file. Simpson says that it can be given to a doctor during checkups. A doctor who would want to know about her previous periods would be able to see all that like in a really digestible form instead of her trying to go back and remember, you know, days of her period and what days were really bad or things like that, which I think is amazing. Like, that's awesome. The app gives women an innovative way to approach their upcoming time of the month. Valera Thomas, WUFT News. It was my sophomore year of high school. Um, I remember sitting in class and just all of a sudden feeling a really sharp pain um, kind of run through me like lightning and then it was gone. Endometriosis is a disease in which the tissue that normally lines the uterus grows outside the uterus and EndoUF created an event to promote awareness for endometriosis. When I went to the Center for Leadership and Service, I said, well, what about a 5K? And they said, there's a lot of 5Ks. Maybe you want to try something else. And so I was like, well, what about a Zumbathon? Because I love Zumba. And they said, you know, that's a pretty good idea. It's different. Um, you should probably be able to market it pretty well. That's how the UF group held its first Zumbathon to raise money for the advancement of the research for endometriosis. <laughs> Zumba! 
One Zumba instructor had a close friend who underwent laparoscopic surgery to test for the disease. She hopes for more events to spread the word about endometriosis in the future. I thought it was fantastic. She is young. Uh, she shared with me that she had some, uh, she had faced some issues herself. And so she didn't just sit back and wait for something else to change, for something else out under the world to change. She's actually standing up, uh, rallying the community and creating awareness, talking about it. Zumba wasn't the only thing scheduled for the event. No Southern Accent, an a cappella group at UF, sang some ballads, alongside a couple of laughs with Theater Strike Force and a soothing transition towards a yoga session. People came out to support the awareness of endometriosis, which can be a disease that can be unbearable at times. On my period, it's the most miserable thing in the world. Um, like, my friends have to pick me up and carry me, like, anywhere. They have to take me to and from class, if I even get to class. Um, I'm taking pain pills, like, every couple of hours. Students in an endo are dedicated to promote the awareness of endometriosis. You could donate to their research to find treatments at endendouf.org. Endometriosis is one of the top three causes of infertility. Finding a cure is obviously a really big goal. I'm hoping to see that before maybe I have children if I can, um, especially if I have daughters. You know, that's something that's important. If, you know, everyone who has endometriosis, if it is genetic, you know, then we have to think about that. The next generation that's going to be coming up, what do we want to see for them? And I don't want to have to see my daughters or, you know, nieces have to go through the things that I've been going through. Valer Thomas, WUFT News.